Hey. Uh, <laughs> today was quite interesting, actually. Um, as it's Mother's Day today, um, quite a few of the students trained on like the morning session instead. So we basically uh, didn't have anyone in the juniors, anyone in the seniors. Then we only had four of the ladies kickboxing ones there. So <laughs> it was um, pretty empty today as a result. And uh, kind of because of that, I haven't got anything to really say on what I felt like I've learnt or what I'd want to improve on because I've not really done that much other than a smaller ladies kickboxing session where we just kind of explored the new syllabus because it was the grading last week so we're on the, the new syllabus now it's rotated over um, lots of like close ranged elbows and knee strikes on this new syllabus this like rotated syllabus because it's a rotating syllabus every every three months after each grading it swaps over to something new um, as opposed to having the linear belt system where each belt has its own specific moves. It's like beginner, intermediate and advanced sections with their own moves in them. So if you're like between red and orange, I think, like the first four belts, then you're on you just do beginner techniques. And then um the next four you do intermediate techniques. And um, you'd kind of revise the beginner ones as well. And then in advance, you'd do advanced techniques and kind of revise the other two ones at the same time. Um, which is works quite well, I quite like it. I mean, when I'm a bit more of an old school student, when I was going up through the belt system, I was doing it the old linear way. And then after I got black, or shortly, yeah, shortly after I got black, I think, sort of came up with the new electronic syllabus and the, the way of doing it with a rotating syllabus set so that everyone's kind of learning the same stuff all the time and it makes it a lot easier to teach people individual rather than having each individual student with their own little syllabus set of moves to learn for their particular belt and it makes everything uh, a lot easier to teach for the, the sensei or the coach to to like instruct everyone at once um, but yes yeah, so we're not we didn't really I mean um, we just explored the syllabus with the, the four leaves and went through a bunch of the new stuff and yeah we just kind of in the two hours beforehand we kind of just messed around a bit had some fun uh, because it's just a, it's a big room and it's all matted up and you can like use kick pads as like cushions and stuff or like stack them up and do just mess around and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, not much to really talk about on the whole coaching development side of things. Uh, so I guess I'll just try and. <laughs> talk about what else is going on outside of that um, feeling a bit sort of like overwhelmed with or like struggling to cope with stuff I want to do like feeling like I don't have enough time to do everything that like matters to me I mean obviously um, I do I sort of choose my own workload if you want like I put my I sort of put the burden on myself to do all these things at once and not at once but like do loads of different stuff so I'm essentially like always working on something I'm either technically at my actual work which is obviously like unfulfilling and stuff but it's you get money from it and then there's like other stuff like and well um, all the stuff that I oh, like, want to do but it's like you want to do a lot of stuff because you're like sort of got high ambitions so you want to like try and just get on with it 
and just get loads of stuff done but then you kind of get burnt out or you just end up doing loads and loads of stuff and you can't ever find any time to fit any more stuff in or you just have no kind of set free time at all it kind of feels like it's annoying it feels like you're trapped in this cycle of not getting stuff done in a way um, so I might re-listen to this audiobook I think I mentioned it on his called Life Leverage it's all about uh, making sort of uh, well, uh, like being more efficient with your time. It's technically like a time management book, but as all these time management things will say, there's technically no such thing as the time management. But it's you know, it's how to get more stuff that's important to you done that you want to do, and how to sort of get other stuff that you don't want to do done without actually having to like do it yourself pretty much so it might be useful to listen to that again just to help deal with those that sense of being overwhelmed with stuff I mean I've got I'm doing this British Jiu Jitsu Association coaching course like the official one and I've got until end of April I think to do these like mini one page essays for it um, I've done three so far I've got but I've got seven more to do now they're only like one page and they're not too difficult or complex you have to sort of just read this this web page of stuff on the, the particular topic whatever it is and then basically write it up in your own words on one page of the thought you're not allowed to have any more than one page um, but I'm still like struggling to get those churned out because I, I can't find the time to do that. It's probably one of the main things that's like causing issues at the moment, just getting those mini essays done. I obviously want to try and get them sorted and out of the way before the end of April so I can go on the course itself uh, in May. Um... But yeah, I'm just really struggling to find the time to get it done. It's not even finding the time as such, because there are moments where I do technically have time. I'm so like burnt out from, I don't know, like work or other stuff like that. Just like being on, I need some time to like recover and relax a bit mentally or whatever, and just sort of chill out and not do anything particularly productive, you know, where you just like get sucked into the YouTube vacuum or something like that, um, in order to just like cope with the strain. So I end up not utilising that time, or or maybe it'll be like I've only got a half an hour span of time and I feel like I have like, not enough time to actually properly get into the right mental mind frame or the, like the zone. I mean, English isn't my forte, it doesn't mean I'm bad at it, it just means that it takes me longer than it might take someone who is good at English to do. So someone who isn't naturally quite good at English would probably be able to get these churned out like two or three times faster than I can do it, but I just, I have to take longer to process it because, you know, I'm, I'm more of a numbers math person, really, um, so I can do that dead easy. But English, I have to just take more time over it and it just takes longer to process everything. So that is also kind of interrupting everything else. Like when it comes to making content for this channel and editing it, that's the main thing. That's the main time consuming thing is editing really. Filming, I can usually get it done in the space of like one hour. Editing will take maybe three to five hours or something depending on what it is um but that's because i i i'd normally break it up into like segments on on my lunch break maybe three hours is what i'd say is it, is it <clears throat> if i sort of sat down and did it in one session i'd probably have to do it a quick quite a bit faster but 
I, I don't usually have the opportunity to do it like that, I don't think. Um, but yeah, that, so I've not, I've not made any like main videos this month, I think. I think I managed to get some last month because I had that, I had a week off and during that time I managed to do two videos in one week because I just had plenty of time to spend on it, you know. The first few days of that week I actually dosed quite a lot, I just didn't, I, I relaxed quite a bit even though I wanted to make it more productive on the things I wanted to do but it was good for me to get that out of my, syst out of my system and then in the, like, the last two days or so and the weekend of that week uh, I was able to be really like productive on the stuff I wanted to do and you know like I said I managed to get two videos put out which usually takes me a lot longer <laughs> in my normal timetable so yeah I, I don't really know when any other videos are gonna I do have an idea for what I want to do in the next one but I've no idea when I'm gonna actually be able to do it um, yeah it's a bit interesting I'll have to see I suppose I'm hoping to try and figure out some ways to create more free time to focus on these things that matter more to me uh, without obviously like destroying my income too much and all that stuff but yeah uh, that's about it I think for this week although one thing actually I'm going to start reading these types of magazines and stuff for any ideas on how to improve my fitness and physical ability and all that stuff so I'm, I spend a lot of time trying to figure the optimal way of training and uh, the, the optimal type of practice as well um, but before with magazines like that it sounds really stupid but I felt like I just felt almost like embarrassed buying them because it would make I felt like it would make me look like some kind of weird um, not weird but like some kind of like gym freak or whatever and I guess in some ways I'm, 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 I don't know I'm really into this the whole I, I, th I think that fitness is like really really integral to your martial arts progression because like you can have your skill level can go up but it can only get it, it, if your fitness is not good it's kind of it gets less than you need both to be going up at once really Right, I mean, some people might have really good fitness, but like barely any skill. You need like both uh, in sort of equilibrium, really. They both benefit each other very well. <laughs> so you know, it's, it's I, I invest a lot of time and effort into uh, that. So going to start reading uh, other stuff like that now as well when I can. <laughs> yeah, well that's uh, that's pretty much it for this week, I'd say. So nothing uh, in particular. And uh, I know I said I'd try and figure out some s special, like, interesting topics to cover on these videos as well, other than just like documenting what random stuff happens in the week. But we'll we'll see how I'll, I'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's about it, I'd say. So. Bye.